Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction of My Hero Academia Chapter 363. Okay, Bakugo supposedly died last chapter. His heart exploded. Can he be saved? Like, artificial organ, maybe? I've heard some theories, apparently, like, that, um, there's apparently a notion that uh, best genus could save him I'm not exactly sure what like wrapping I guess the fibers of his heart muscles and stuff like rebinding it into a complete heart maybe or um, and I thought I thought of like after I reacted to him I was like Yuri or Eerie why, why can't you just use her <laughs> um so th those are some of the ideas of how he could be saved but maybe it would mean more if he was dead also there was also apparently a notion that this is um connecting with the uh second movie where bakugo was given um afo or no uh ofa and uh I always get them mixed up. Uh, and, you know, so he has, like, a part of that, and that's why he saw All Might that way, the last chapter. We've made a pledge. Bakugo has fallen. I, or I've made a pledge. I've achieved absolute victory every time. We're taking this four to zero, no casualties. The strong don't settle anything unless... Or anything less. This can't be. You can't do this. So. Even Monoma is freaking out. Interesting. You can't go and die like this. And there's Best Genus. You know. Kneeling before him. And oh god Shigaraki is just back there. Um, Protectors and Invaders is the title. There's no pulse. His heart is ripped to shreds. I won't let Shigaraki lay a finger on anyone else until uh, Midoriya gets here. God damn it. So Mirio is pissed. But he also looks rather damaged. Um, this time he's gone for good. Putting so much responsibility on the shoulders of a kid, you did this to him. How very disappointing, Eraser. Well, this can't be... You bloody monster. Who's next? Who wants to be turned into another welcome present? For, Mid for Izuku Midoriya. If I had just killed you then and there. If I had just been a little faster. None of this. What the? What? What? Okay. Uh, that there's Mirko, and she's lost her replacement arm apparently. Don't beat yourself up, Rumi. Uh, Yusagi Yama. Uh, is, at that time, there were still a lot of pro heroes around, so it's not like you were nowhere the only one drop or who dropped the ball. But then more and more heroes decided to, to desert, leaving you no choice but to put inexperienced kids on the front line. Given the situation, this is only natural for some of them to die. I mean, you really gotta feel her pain. Like, if she had really killed him when he was in his incomplete state, none of this would have happened. <laughs> <clears throat> You took the initiative and struck us with everything you had, but it just wasn't enough. You didn't have the numbers or the preparation. Preparation H! Okay, there's, uh, Tenya and, uh, Todoroki now. Oh god, that dude's being burned to pieces. All things considered, looks like facing you first was for the best. <laughs> I knew it. It's so much better in person. It's like I got a feeling for some, for it somehow. Shoto-kun, run away. Just 
Before you burned me and I, or buried me and I, I copied your move as a last ditch effort. Wait, who were they fighting? <clears throat> it's a pretty decent copy, if I say so myself. Right, shut up. Oh, for the love of heaven, how are you fucking still alive? Also, how did you copy it? <laughs> Onamasan? He's got more than raw firepower going for him. That's right. After all, Toya honed his quirk to such a high level all by himself. He's got an uh, extraordinary battle sense, backed up by mad obsession. Skeptic! So he's calling Skeptic over to him. I'm too busy right now for your daddy issues. Let me guess, you're looking for Endeavor. He's currently at the remains of a Gunga Mountain Villa, facing off against AFO. <clears throat> you mustn't give us villains time to muster our forces. Midoriya made the right call by rushing in and trying to take the fight up to us. Okay, so Skeptic's uh, satellite is honing in on something, even though he never had any real chances of success. Did you think you could just cut me out of the company? Why am I not surprised these numbskulls uh, keep making dumb decisions? I built this network from scratch. Regaining control is child's play for me. What are you trying to accomplish running off to another country while leaving all the talent behind? Due to your excessive conservatism, you've become a clay doll, incapable of thinking for yourself. But I'm different. I will support Shigaraki Tomura. We'll achieve Redestro's dream. That's right. We'll create a world where no one is discriminated against because of their quirks. That's the only real way to seize power and bring about true freedom, a society without heroes or villains. That What's the deal with all of these errors? Someone's trying to hack into the system. Oh god, he's gonna hack the frickin' school. Shit. AFO, you can go do as you please, for I will do the same. Not even the slightest trace of the old way shall remain after the revolution, especially those who admire and cling to the words of the old generations. There shall be no place for them in the new world. Okay, so we've got the Todoroki family here. Can you kids stay put for a second? What if the villains came here? Kids want to play. It's going to be okay, Sensei. There's no way Todoroki, Bakugo, and the others are going to lose this battle. Oh, those are the kids from that remedial uh, lesson. And I love that, uh, what's her name? Uh, was it Fumiki? Or, no, Fuya. Whatever. Uh, Shoto's sister. Her first name escapes me, sorry. Um, she's hearing that, so I think that's good for her to hear. But who are those mysterious guys? Are they the, the invaders that the title was referring to? They're in the shelter. Gunga Mountain, Village Remains. Let's see here. Apparently we were too desperate defending ourselves in the previous battle. And didn't really manage to accomplish anything. But this time is different. All for one. And villains, the... All for one. And villains and the invaders. Wait, who the fuck is that guy? Heroes are the protectors. So we'll keep moving forward until our dreams come true. Um... I'm I'm confused. Who the fuck are these people? And they seem to have fire powers. Um, or at least that dude does. I don't know about that dude. Um, villains on the offense. Okay. So, uh, things are getting kind of bad real fast. But we already knew that. They're just progressively getting worse as things go on. I need a sip of water.
So, yes. <coughs> mm, excuse me. So that happened. Uh, we've got villains on the offense, as it says. Which is like they weren't on the offense. I mean, offense and defense when it comes to certain things is really hard to know the line. So you'll have to forgive me for that one. But yes, um, now the school's being attacked by Skeptic. Frickin' um, Dobby lives. How did he copy the ice move? I don't get that. Um, maybe he copied it with his flames in terms of like he replicated it so that he could like envelop himself in flame so that he didn't freeze to death. Or whatever. I'm not really sure. But I was pretty sure he was dead. That was a big ass move to fucking survive. I mean really. He should have succumbed to his injuries. And his physical condition by now. Because hell that was what. 30 minutes ago. <laughs> that was months ago. And it's fucking happening. As if it just. I, I Manga time am I right folks. Um, Endeavor's fighting two people, it seems like. Or maybe it's just that one fire dude, which I'm wondering. Maybe he's, like, absorbing Endeavor's flames. That would actually be kind of interesting. Um, they call me the Extinguisher. Uh, but yeah, so there, there's a lot going on. And I do have to feel for, you know... Everyone's like, damn, Bakugo's dead. This this shouldn't have happened. And it's like, if only we could have done more. And Best Genus is, you know, Best Dude. He, like, he's right there by a person that, you know, he views as a sidekick, a friend, an ally, you know. Because they've teamed up more than once at this point with the internship and whatnot. So it's like... He feels totally responsible for this. It was like, no, I was to protect the younger generation. No! But the way he described Bakugo's heart, that it was shredded. So that does kind of lean more towards maybe he could, like, do the... No, wait, he can't do organic fibers, can he? That's why he does the, uh... That's why he does clothing with, like... Or maybe he can't. I just... But if he can sew his heart back at least enough to get him back alive. I mean, he hasn't been dead that long. You can be dead for like six minutes if your heart stopped. But, I mean, he's dead dead, I guess, technically. Because his heart blew up. So, we'll see. But maybe if he could, like, weave it together just well enough to get him medical attention. <coughs> Bakugo might come back from this but I'm I'm a bit skeptical <coughs> mm, excuse me so yeah uh, there's all that um, skeptic actually playing a big role with him hacking the the school and everything is kind of a cool idea I hadn't really thought about that I actually hadn't thought about skeptic in a while so that's probably why you know, after Redestro and the the more or less fall of the um, the paranormal front and everything, it's like, yeah, I didn't really foresee, you know, him coming back. So I guess I just keep forgetting about him being a part of Shikaraki's forces. Um, but yeah. He's doing some big work. Hackers can take down whole countries if given enough time and with skill. So, yeah. Taking down a flying fortress building probably is going to uh, be within his wheelhouse, I'd say. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Hmm. I guess that's about all I have to really say about the chapter. There's probably more I could talk about, but I've rambled on long enough. 
Uh, let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this chapter. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, including One Piece and One Punch Man. One coming out today, one are already up. Well, they're both already up. One came out yesterday. Um, and one's coming out before this video, so stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah. Links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim River's channel, so go check that out. And as always, later days. And until next time, Kishlings. Dobby's alive. Mirko lost her chance. An endeavor seems to be having his fire eaten. I don't know what the hell's going on anymore. Shit.